Why are kings always so furious? Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about The Fury of Kings by R.S. Mool. Uh, in this one, I for the first time ever, I got an audio arc uh, via NetGalley. Uh, just to try out. I hadn't ever done audio before. I usually have done ebooks. Uh, I figured I would give that a shot. And since specifically this was an audio arc, I do want to talk a bit about the audio performance. This was the first time I've ever uh, had uh, or listened to a book that was narrated by Colin Mace. Uh, and I, I know the name. I've heard good things about him, but I had not uh, heard any of his narration before. And he was excellent. He did a really good job with just the general narration and making characters feel very distinct. Uh, and he had a way of, it wasn't just slightly different voices, like he'd actually get like the, the intonation and the personality of the characters. So like when you first meet a character, you don't even have to be told that they're kind of like apathetic because you can just hear it in the voice, things like that. He did a really, really good job, uh, which is making the, the characters pop a little bit more. So definitely wanted to mention that. I uh, really enjoyed it. And I, I definitely feel like the, the narration being very good is, is the biggest thing that pulled me into this one because uh, this wasn't a, a book I was crazy about uh, content-wise uh, otherwise, but the audio was really, really good. Uh, so I wanted to just note that. So this book uh, is, it's, it's kind of set up with, you know, you have, there's going to be war going on. There's some different factions. There's all these political schemes going on. People have to make choices. Uh, it's the, it opens up with, uh, the king of this area, his, his son and heir dies. And so there's contention on who's going to be the new heir because he has, uh, like a, a son that he's like disowned that would potentially be the heir. And he doesn't have any other ones, that kind of thing, that kind of setup. And we get a lot of that. Uh, going on with the, the politics and betrayals and uh, fighting and that sort of thing and those kinds of characters. And it just, like, it, it's not badly written and there's nothing that's specifically bad. There was just also wasn't anything particularly, like, fresh or, or that stood out, really, to me about those kinds of things. Uh, you can definitely see the, the influence uh, from Game of Thrones uh, and Song of Ice and Fire in general, which is pretty common. I feel like it's, uh, especially with the rise of that, you get a lot of people that are, are taking from that and writing things with that, uh, just like you had people doing with The Wheel of Time, just like you had people doing with Lunar Lord of the Rings, and just kind of trying to take those elements. And uh, I'm not a fan of the Song of Ice and Fire, so maybe that also was something where it's just like, ah, uh, it's it, kind of reminiscent of that to a little bit, written in a different style and with different things going on very much so. But uh, just didn't, it didn't really elevate that much. And the biggest thing is like the, the prologue, uh, it introduces to these other people called the Lutons, who uh, are seem to be somewhat of a, like a tribal uh, people that live uh, near the mountains, but not really up in them. And they seem really interesting. There's talk of something going on up on the mountain. And I'm like, oh, this is really cool. We get almost none of that. And it's kind of like, it's kind of just the barest tease of this like bigger picture, more mystical thing that might be going on. But we really don't get any of that. And that was the part that I feel like I was most interested for. Now, I do think that uh, there's definitely going to be more of that explored in later entries, but I really wanted some of it more here uh, instead of the things that we did focus on. There were uh, some issues, I feel like, with not necessarily with uh, pacing, but I, I guess I would say structure of the, the POVs because uh, the book, it felt like we spent uh, a lot of time uh, with some POVs, and there were other POVs that we spent less time with, but then all of a sudden we'd get a big chunk of this person's POV. Like, there is uh, one person we'd seen kind of here and there, but then we spent a lot of time with them learning about something, and uh, the, the very long period spent with the learning, I'm just like, this felt like it could have been tamped down a little bit. But then there were also some other uh, smaller side characters that seem like they're going to be important, and then nothing really happens with them, and then they're kind of mentioned again, and so it seemed like just getting the mix of the POVs right was something that was uh, not quite where it needed to be for this one. I will note, too, this is, I'm pretty sure, a debut, uh, and so these are kinds of things that just uh, 
you, you often will see with the debut. And so I'm not trying to trash the book or anything. Like I said, it's, it's not poorly written. Uh, it's not in any way bad. Uh, I, I just wasn't like huge on it. I, I kind of fell in the middle here. Uh, but it's things that, you know, for uh, a debut, it's, it's an author still finding their footing. And so it makes sense to see some of those things uh, in it. And I, I'm sure there are uh, things that the author will work on in later entries as well. Uh, it just is it some of those things that I felt needed a little bit there. Uh, having a more measured uh, focus on the POVs, uh, adding maybe a little bit more of some of the things that I felt like were really interesting that we didn't get as much of, and maybe you know tamping down and so things like that that are just uh, takes time to kind of figure out how to get things to fit right, uh, and that was kind of where I landed. Uh, like I said with this one, uh, I, I definitely recommend the audio uh, if you, you're looking for an audio. It, uh, it's it's not like a super long one. It's like, I think it's a, a more middle-sized uh, for, for the audio, but uh, Colin Mace did a really great job uh, and uh, definitely he got me pulled in. If you, if you like the kind of, you know, Game of Thrones, the politics, the betrayal, the, you know, furious kings and... Uh, arranged marriages and backstabbing and uh, fight for who's going to be heir and succession and all that kind of stuff. If you like all that kind of stuff, you, you get a lot of that here. Uh, and if you're looking for just kind of a, a simple novel uh, to go through, I think this one could definitely work. Uh, like I said, uh, nothing that's just like, oh, so bad. Uh, just, it, it felt like a debut. Uh, it felt like a debut from a new author. And um, that's, not always the best thing when it feels like that, because you want it to be like, oh my gosh, this didn't even feel like a debut. But it did, and so I, I, I always try to, to keep that in mind uh, with, with books like that. It's just because it's uh, it's something that can take some time to get right. But uh, overall, uh, like I said, a, a, a solid story. Uh, just had some things that uh, didn't work as well for me, or some other things that I'd like to see. But uh, definitely one, like I said, uh, if uh, the description sounded like things that you're interested in, you're looking for something a little uh, simple, uh, and modern feeling with the writing, uh, this may be one to check out or listen to, like I said, because the audio is good. Overall, though, really, those are my thoughts on The Fury of Kings by R.S. Mool. Let me know in the comments if you've read this one or if this one was on your radar. Uh, I'm always interested to, to hear uh, what other people think, too. And like I said, I feel like this is one that uh, might just not have been my cup of tea, but others may really enjoy. So always curious there. Uh, otherwise, though, make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Check the link in the description, as always, for the Wizardly Duo Discord if you want to chat books, whether this book, other books, any books, really anything at all. It's a lot of fun, and we'd love to have you. And, of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.